we're going to do a bonus this afternoon. This is on top of what you should have already done today. So you should have already smashed your workout. Now we're going to do a 20 minute shoulders workout. Okay, I really want you to think about slowing down the moves. Okay, we're not trying to get out as many reps as we possibly can. I want you to slow it down and I want you to really focus on time under tension through those muscles, working through your shoulders, not just moving the weight. Okay, so. I want you to get some kettlebells or some free weights, whatever it is that you're gonna use that are gonna give you the ability to be able to get side laterals, front raises around the world, okay? Upright rows and front raises isolated, okay? So pick some weights that are gonna challenge you, but remember, this is all about a much slower move than you've been doing today. Five exercises. 50 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, five times through, and that is gonna be it. I'm gonna work with you all the way through. It's gonna burn, okay? Remember, this is to challenge you, this is to push you to get the body that you want. So make sure you do feel challenged. I have picked a few ways to give myself a little bit of variation if I need it, because I do find I connect my shoulders really well. I find that these exercises that I'm gonna show you hit them, but they hit them hard. So I do sometimes have to drop my weight slightly. Don't be afraid to drop your weight. Don't be afraid to make any alterations that you need that mean that you can keep your form spot on and you can keep working through the muscle, not just dragging the weight up. So make sure that you do consider that. Okay, so enough of all that. So we're gonna start with side lateral raises, but we're gonna alternate these arms so we can focus on each shoulder. You're gonna go into a side lateral raise into a front raise. That's gonna be your first one. Your next one, I want you to get a plate because we're gonna do alternate around the world with a weighted plate. You can use a sandbag, you can use a dumbbell, you can use a plate, whatever's comfortable for you, a kettlebell even. Just don't smack yourself in the face with it because I've seen it, I've done it, it's not cool, so just be careful. The next one we're gonna do, our static hold, alternate arm shoulder press. So we're gonna press through the shoulders, keeping one still while we press through the other. Now no cheating because when I'm in the gym and I'm training my, my clients, I see all those little sneaky people resting those weights on the shoulders and that's not the point of it. The point is that you've got to really keep that tension through the shoulders by actually holding the weight. So just be careful, remember I'm watching, okay? I know what you're doing and I know all the tricks of the trade because I see it every day. Your next one is going to be bent over rear delts. Okay, really make sure that you're focusing on the back of the shoulder. You're going to feel it through the top of your back as well. But make sure that you do really think about connecting to that muscle. Back flat, abs in, and a little bend in your knees as well for that one. And your last one is going to be kettlebell upright rows. Now, again, when people do upright rows, see a lot of people trying to get the weight right up into their face, and that's not what it's about. Just focus on squeezing through the shoulders and bring your elbows up. You don't actually have to bring the weight right the way up to your chin. Some people, depending on mobility, will only bring it two thirds of the way up. Focus on where it is that you're working and not necessarily about how heavy you're going. All good to go. Are we ready? Make sure you've got your weights. I'm gonna set the timers. First exercise is gonna be single arm, out to the side, out to the front. 50 seconds, alternating each side. Let's do it! This is your 10 second warning. So I'm going to start with the fours. Seems light, doesn't it? Yeah, well, we'll see about that. Let's go. So one out to the side and then out to the front, keeping a little bend in your elbows and only bringing the weight up to shoulder height. Take it back beside your body before you switch. Squeeze up through that shoulder and again press to the front. I love training shoulders. It's one of my favourite areas to train. I find if you really push through the weights but focus on what it is that you're doing, you can get a really nice cap through your shoulders. And everybody loves to see that you've got strong arms. We're not going to get big, we're not going to get bulky, you've got 10 seconds, but what you are going to get is some definition and that is what we want. Five. All the way to the end, keep them going. Rest it. Your next one is going to be plate, with a plate around the world, making sure that you alternate either side. So you're going to start to the front, three, two, one. You're going to rotate around the shoulders, working through the rotator cuffs. Keep the plate high. Try not to let it drop. So you're keeping the tension through your shoulders constantly. I like to put 
time of bending my knees. So I'm not pulling any tension through the bottom of my back. So you can see, I'm nice and relaxed. Tuck your bum under, engage through your core. You have got 20 seconds. Again, a really lovely exercise for working the whole of the shoulder. You have got 10 seconds.
don't worry if you've got a little bit of arts in your knees. As long as you are not arching that back, as long as your form is spot on, you are not taking anything away from the work of that shoulder. You've got 15. I work with a lot of clients that try to build around the bicep, tricep, shoulder area. Come up with some crazy, crazy exercises. You don't need to do that. What you do need to do is do the basics and execute them well and regularly. All about consistency. Keep pushing your weights up. Keep pushing your reps up. You don't need to do anything out of the box. You don't need to do anything crazy. Training with you, I'm not doing anything that I wouldn't do myself. I'm not doing any exercises here that I wouldn't get my clients to do because they work, they're effective. You've got 20. seconds to do. Remember, little bend in those knees. Abs in, support your back. We don't want to be arching. Rest it. Your next ones are static hold, shoulder press. Remember, we're not cheating. I'm watching. We see it all the time. Sneaky little moves like this. That's not what we're doing. Imagine the next eight years. Press straight up, try not to let them press out to the side because you're going to start to twist through your body. You want to drive the weight straight up. Oh my lord, seriously, look, look at the pump here and oh my god, this is real, this is real work. You've got 15 seconds. If you do get tired, if you need it, use that push press. You can see that I'm still holding the weight away. I'm not resting, but I'm putting that little bend in my knees to give myself that momentum for the push press. That again is not cheating. If it's a difference between you putting that push press in and you're finishing your set and you're getting them out or not doing it at all, bend over rear delts and necks, then I would prefer that you do that. Little bend in the knees, tuck that chin in, Fly out, squeezing those shoulder blades back. Make sure your abs are in. Make sure that weight is heavy enough that you are challenged. It's 20 minutes, that's all. If you need a rest, stand up, get your breath back, go again, you've got 20. How are we doing? 10 seconds. How are we? I'm going to turn this way so I can see that time. Five. Oh. Keep them going. Get them out. Well done. Kettlebell, all right, Rose. Oh. Get ready. Bend those knees. Make sure you're happy that your shoulders are back, your abs are in, your chest is up before you start. We don't want any rolling through the shoulders. You want to feel like you've got control of that weight. 
Not that you're having to drag that weight up. Full control. Time of attention. Targeting and feeling it in the areas that we are trying to hit. You've got 20. Ten seconds. Rest it. Well done. You are two in. Two sets done. Two to do. How are we doing? Yeah? Just around this area. Yeah? Okay. We're back. <laughs> ah, we're back. Side laterals. We are going to go back to alternating. One to the side, one to the front. Let's go. This is round three of your bonus for shoulders. Oh, it's getting real. Great way to do. It's a great exercise. It's a great program. 20 minutes. Even if this is all you've got time for today, but you know that you need to get shoulders in, 20 minutes. Four rounds, 50 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Tell me it's not working yet. Tell me it's not enough. I'll tell you that you've not pushed yourself hard enough. Get it in, last one. Good. Around the world, plates. Let's go. If you need to grab yourself a drink, grab one. If you need to have a little bit of a rest, Lactic acid buildup in those shoulders is huge. So if you need a rest, have one. Come on, you're doing incredibly well. You've got 22 seconds. It's amazing how much you can do with such a little amount of equipment. Training right here with you. You've got eight seconds. Rest it. Those static hold shoulder presses. I'm watching. Don't cheat me. Come on then. Let's have it. Drive up and bring it back down. Let's go. Drag up, slow down. Up, control. It's such 
such a lot of work through one muscle group, one tiny, tiny part of your body. Compared to legs, compared to back, all this is just hitting through your shoulders. So, if you are feeling it and you're starting to tire, you should be. This is the point. 20 minutes should be enough. Five rounds should absolutely burn you. You should feel done, rest it. That is three rounds, I'm gonna grab a drink, get yourself a drink. We are back to single arm side laterals. This is your last time guys, this is your last time round. Same arm, again. Drive up. All about that control, all about that power. Don't rock through your joints. Keep that little bend in your elbows. Squeeze them up. Think about those shoulders. Mind to muscle connection is huge. You've got 15 seconds. Come on, we are so close now. This is your last time round. Rest it. Whew. Oh yes, pop those down. Shake it off. Come on, let's do it. To the side. I always find with these kind of exercises, you do your first three or four reps and you think, yeah, I'm killing it. And then you do about another three or four reps and think, oh, hello. Make sure the arm does a dead stop beside the body before you bring it forward so you're not using any momentum at all, not helping yourself in any way. got 10 seconds. How are we doing? You're doing incredibly well and you're nearly done. Get it in, get it finished. Rest it. Around the world with the plate is next. Come on, stay with me. Let's finish this. Let's go to the front and then alternate. Big rotations around the head. Don't let that plate drop. So you're holding that weight through the front of your shoulders when you bring it round to the front of the body. Pause in it before you go again the other way. Little bend in your knees, nice and relaxed at the bottom of the body. Twenty. If you need a rest, stay in the work, stay here. Because you're still working. You're still holding that weight through your shoulders. 10. One more. Rest it. Whoa, that's not true. I'm going to reset that because we have still got, oh, we have still got one, two, three exercises to do. So get ready, scrap that. Don't know where that's come from. 10 seconds, get ready. How are we doing? How's your week going? Have you got it all in? Let's go. Static hold, shoulder press. No cheating, no sitting on those shoulders. This is your last time. Make it count, every single rep. And then you can give yourself a high five and know that you're done for the day. You've got it in the bag again. Come on, keep them moving. Good, well done. Bent over, rear delts. Last time. Let's do these. Squeeze those shoulder blades back. 
Make sure that back is flat, abs in. The lower you can get your chest down, the harder it is. So if you are struggling and you are tired but don't want to drop that weight, bring that chest up a little bit. The lower you can get that chest, the more you've got to drive those arms out and up. You've got 25 seconds. It's real, right? It's real. Come on, I'm with you. Let's go. Keep them moving. You've got 10 seconds. You've only got all five rows to do after this and we are done. Rest it. You've got your kettlebell rows to do, all right rows, and it is over. Another one done. Get ready. Let's have it. Let's do it. 50 seconds, all I want off you, and you're done. Drive them up. Slow on the way down. Well done. Oh, you're done.